Okay, what do we got? We've got last night the temperature, the low was minus six degrees Celsius. And right now in the greenhouse here, it's 10.7 degrees Celsius. So not too bad. So far this year, the greenhouse hasn't frozen over. Uh, I did get a bit of kind of frost on the top surface of the moss the one day. But yeah, everything stayed above freezing so far in the greenhouse, which is good. I want to keep it just slightly above freezing so the trees all stay dormant, but the roots aren't, you know, freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing going through that cycle, which is really hard on the trees. You want to keep them at a stable temperature if you can, either frozen all winter or just slightly above freezing. It is only the second day of the new year of 2022 and I'm heading on a road trip today. I'm meeting Connor at Chris Hendry's, the bonsai guy's place, and we're going to look around and maybe do a, a bit of purchasing. I'm not looking for anything in particular to buy at Chris Hendry's. I might buy a pot or two, maybe even a plant. I don't know. So off I go, heading on the road trip, the first one of 2022. I'm on the road and the roads look good. They're nice and clear, no snow on them, despite all the snow we got last night. I'm getting closer to Chris Henry's. There's some beautiful scenery, just beautiful. I have made it to Chris Hendry's place. I see Connor's car, I see Derek's vehicle, and I see my vehicle. Got my winter Crocs on. Thanks, Ross. So let's go see what's happening here today. Hello, Hello. Connor, how are you? Good, good. Happy holidays, uh, happy new year. Yeah, <laughs> starting the season off right with a road trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just made sure I've actually had the time to sort of get organized. So that they're they're marked and they uh, and priced, so you know you know what you're in for. They do sell at a premium to what Chinese potteries do, okay. but you'll be able to see why, right? They just yep. they have fantastic quality. So Connor is picking out a pot for his giant jade clump. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the mica pots here. Mica bathtubs. <laughs> yeah, the bathtub size. So he's thinking this one. It's kind of the smallest of the. Large ones over yeah, here. Yeah, so if I can just remember yeah. off the top of my, I think the base about of it is probably about this big. Okay. And about this wide. So it'd fill this one up pretty comfortably. I would think that's what you would want. Like you want to fill the pot yeah. with the uh, trunks and that. You don't want a lot of excess. Yeah, well, especially with the it. jade in a second, they don't need a lot of root mass yeah. uh, compared to the foliage. These ones are, are the next size up. Holy the, cow. the biggest. That is huge. Yeah, but I think it might be too too big because it's only about this yeah. wide. Yeah, I think thing. it would look lost in that pot, wouldn't it? And mm -hmm. then this size. <laughs> oh my goodness. There. How much soil would that take, eh? <laughs> wow, you'd have, like to, you'd have to mix up a lot of soil. Something that would stay outside. <laughs> yeah. An imperial size cedar or something. <laughs> Maybe my ficus in 20 years will have yeah. to go on something like this. <laughs> sturdy, that's for sure. So yeah, the mica pots are a little lighter than the clay pots. Yeah. Which a is a factor when you got these giant jades, which are heavy trees. I can't even, I can't move that one by myself. No, no. <laughs> well, yeah. you got some decisions to make, Connor. Mm. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll go check out the garage ones, which are the bigger ones. Okay. So I still got to find something for my forest. <laughs> okay, well, let's go look at that next. Mm -hmm. Here we are out in the garage now, and there's lots bigger. and <laughs> lots of pots. Mostly clay pots out here, isn't there? There's the one I like down this there. One? Yeah. That might be a good size for... Yeah. I was thinking for that root over temple one I have. Heavy pots, though. I have the smaller version of that. Oh, boy, yeah. And it's hard to lift. And then I imagine <laughs> with stones and trees and soil. Yeah. It's going to be brutal. Well, I need something real big for this forest that I'm envisioning. Do you? Yeah. Wow. 
Well, you've come to the right place, Connor. <laughs> Chris Hendry has everything here. Wow. <laughs> Look at the size of the one up there. Yeah. There's a kind of a irregular shaped pot here. That's just huge. There's all the trees and more pots over here. Holy. There's another big, big pot. Yeah, there's a lot of pots out here. There's 17, 18, 19, and 21 inch uh, uh -huh. oval forest in the mica. Here is the pots that Derek has chosen. He's kind of got a cool textured irregular pot round it's really actually really nice and then there's a sort of a cascade pot beautiful glaze on that really nice and a mica pot we are going to head over to the greenhouses now and see what's growing at Chris's it's nice Another to be out in here, isn't it? <laughs> Just brightens the spirits. What a way to start 2022. <laughs> wow, yeah, all different kinds of stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now that's something you don't see every day in January. Can't buy any trees. No trees. No trees? <laughs> Resist. I know. You should see my plant room. Yeah. The floor is full of trees. I, I, I've been filming out in my greenhouse yeah, so far, yeah. and I don't know what I'm going to do once winter comes. I'll have to film indoors, <laughs> it actually comes, right? yeah. and I'll have to. I don't know what I'm going to do, Connor. This is the uh, the variety of the Natel plum. That, uh, oh, okay. Like oh, it. that's different, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a smaller leaves. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> when it gets cold, it gets these really. Nice red tinges. Wow. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Oh, I just love walking around in here. <laughs> There's a crown of thorns here that's quite developed. Another one over there. And there's a lemon on one of the trees down there. Let me see if I can squeeze in here. Yeah, see the... There's a bunch of lemons on it. Wow. I think those are silk floss trees here really big stumps. Wow, cool. Yeah, these ficus have really small leaves. Interesting to see. Look at all the berries on this one. Oh, that's nice. Is that those, I think that's those Chinese Pear privet or? Maybe, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think so. Maybe. Some grand old trees in here. Look at the size of this ficus in here. Wow. That's in a nice pot. I like that. Very fancy pot. Yeah, it's amazing in here. There's all kinds of cool stuff. A really tropical one that, um, because that, they know it's like, people give them as gifts to right. be like a house plant kind of thing. Yeah. So not so much meant to even be, uh, to be even be a bonsai. But right. it, uh, you can, you can buy them and give them a go. Four, no big deal. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you never know if we'll get those minus 25, minus 30. Yeah. And those are all shimpakus and uh, procumbens nana. Okay. They, they could handle it out here, but I'll bring them in. I won't leave them. I see. Simple. Wow. This here. All this protected. Wow. The desolate, uh, the desolate winter look. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? Look. I prefer the look of this. Uh, exactly. Here we go. Oh, nice in here. So is this warmer than the other greenhouse? Yeah. Or? So yeah. This is your warmest one, eh? It's got the good heating system up here. <laughs> look at that. Hey, look, this is a Chris's personal tree. Oh, of the isn't cascade, that? Eh? Yeah, that's nice, eh? So old looking. Wow. The bark is almost bleached. Yeah, yeah. It's like almost a corky bark, mm -hmm. isn't it? Zigzagging, right? But they, they, they do turn. 
each one. Yeah. So like five branches coming yeah. out of one little stem, and they each will. Yeah, look at this one, how from all the peeling, uh -huh. like how to yeah, I think that's kind of wicked too. Makes them look mm. old and weathered. And yeah, yeah. And the fringe trees are looking great. Are they I always a winter flower? Yeah. So we are going to head out of the greenhouses and pay up and <laughs> purchase our <laughs> our pots and plants and head on home. <laughs> Wow, all right, out into the cold we go. This has been a wonderful day, hasn't it? Woo, it's different out here. Look at those wintry colors in the sky. Here's the big pot. Look at that one. Over here, there's an irregular shaped one, very large, fancy, rectangular. Derek is off. Yeah. We'll see you next time on another bonsai adventure. <laughs> see you later. Well, that was an exciting day at Chris Hendry's. We looked at tons of trees and pots and tools. Yeah, I really enjoyed the trip today. So I'm heading back. It's starting to get dark out already. Yeah, it was a full day. Really fun. There is some beautiful winter scenery. All the snow on the trees. It looks really nice. I am slowly getting closer to home. It's definitely dark out now. I am back home now and it never fails. The closer I get to home, the more snow there is. There's a big snow plow on the road up ahead. Holy cow. Yeah, definitely more snow here in town. I'm back at home now, safe and sound. Let's go in and I'll show you what pots I bought today. I'm back at home in the plant room. I'll show you what I got today. My brother gave me the USS Enterprise NCC-1701D from the next generation of metal model. So that's really cool. Thanks, Tony. And then from Chris Hendry's, I got this pot. It's kind of a cascade pot but it's got really cool colors on it. It's kind of blue, navy blue, and then it fades to almost black at the bottom. And it's really nice. It needs a bit of polishing up, but uh, yeah, it's really nice colors on it. I like that. So that's the first pot. The second pot is a Chinese pot, and I've never seen one like this before. Here it is. It's got it's really neat. Uh, it's kind of got these ribs around it, really interesting feet. If you can see that. Yeah, really cool feet. Yeah, really nice pot. It's Chinese, there's a chop on the bottom right here. So yeah, a very unique pot. I really like it. Then, I got a pot for my lemon tree. I've kind of got the root system on my lemon tree fairly radial and fairly symmetrical. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. So now I'm thinking I can grow it a little larger. So I got a, a large oval pot, kind of an off-white color, that'll kind of match it, the flowers when it's in flower. So yeah, I was pretty happy to get that. This is a Japanese pot. It's quite nice. So that's for the lemon tree. And then the final pot is a twin to the pot I got at Kim's Nature. So here it is. It's a Chinese pot. Not a real high quality pot, but I really like the decorations and it'll really suit a Chinese tree, a Chinese style tree. So it, it's a really cool pot. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to planting a tree in this one. I kind of like it. 
I don't know why I like these pots so much, but I do. I, I think it's because they're fairly old and they, yeah, they've got a nice kind of a crackle finish on them. It's got a firefly in, or not a firefly, it's got a dragonfly in the design there. See that? Yeah, really cool pot. And it's quite large. It's good for, you know, a ficus or any kind of tropical tree. So that's what I got today. Very exciting to get some new pots. So when I go to repot some trees, I'll have a lot of choices. It was really fun going to Chris Hendry's today. So thanks a lot, Chris. Really enjoyed the day touring the greenhouses and picking out pots from your fantastic collection. It was nice seeing Connor and Derek there. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>